I'm Betty and I'm Sue. We're the Smith, Smith sisters. sisters. Well here we are today and we are doing a simple appetizer snack I guess you could have yes. to call it called hanky pankies or some people call um, them rye and sausage sandwiches. But uh, it's just a very good quick can keep in the freezer pop it out when you have somebody drop in you need a little hors d'oeuvre. So that's what we're going to do this morning. Uh, we've been having some good response on our uh, sessions, and so we hope you keep watching. Gosh, it was fun to run into Barb Smith yesterday at Alpine. Oh, Alpine, I know, and I hadn't seen and her And she's so long. loving it. And who are you? Oh, well, the other day I saw Michelle Robbins, Linden Kitchen and Bath, um, and she was saying how she loves it. So, And Marty Lynn has complimented us, and uh, so we appreciate all the people that are uh, getting uh, back to us and telling us that they're enjoying what we're doing. So I guess we could get started with the hanky pankies here, you. Betty. Okay, first to, to do these, yeah. we need a pound of either sausage, a combination of you know, sausage and, and ground beef, or just ground beef. If you use just ground beef, you got to add a little garlic, garlic powder or, or, or Italian seasoning or something. Then we take a pound of whichever meat you're using. I think and today we have Italian sausage. sausage. But, uh, also, uh, uh, some people will throw some Worcestershire in it, right? Yes, that's an option you can have. I'm, I'm not doing it today, but we have done that before. That is on the recipe. Then once it's all done, you're going to cube the, the Velveeta. cheese. Velveeta cheese. Good old cheese product. We never really knew what it was, but, but it's very good. And we put this in, and we're just going to let it melt down. When this is done, these are so great to throw in your freezer. And if you have young people around, they think it's kind of pizza-like. Uh, they'll enjoy them, and men love them at, at cocktail parties or whatever. So uh, it'll be something fun for the summer. How's it coming, Betty? It's coming right along. Looking good. Want to put the... Right. The, I'll the get the out. bread out. Again, we're using, uh, this is uh, uh, the cocktail bread you see in the store near the deli. We're using pumpernickel today. I think some that we have already made up, we've used the Jewish rye. Uh, either one, it's going to be very tasty and good. So we're going to slather these little breads with this concoction she's going to bring over in a minute. And then we'll put them in the oven. Uh, is it 350, Betty? That you 350 for about 10 minutes. And uh, there you go. And Even coming right out of the freezer. 350, yeah. 10 minutes. Now, if you're going to freeze them, I would take them from, what well, after we put the, the concoction on, and set them in a, the freezer for a bit, and then uh, take them off and put them in a baggie and throw them in the freezer and then bring them out and bake them. Don't you agree, yes, Betty? Yes, I agree. Yeah. So that's what we're doing today. There we are. Oh my Lord, that looks delightful. These are so good. done and put in ahead of time. Here they come out. Mm -hmm. There they are. Delicious. 
Now this the, this is the dark rye. This is the lighter rye. This is the pumpernickel. Pumpernickel and the rye. Right. Well, we hope you enjoy them. They're a simple something for you to have um, in your vest pocket. Yes. So, we'll see you again soon. I'm Betty. I'm Sue. We're, We're the, the Smith, Smith Sisters. sisters.